Hey yo, what's up and welcome, I'm the one and only West Coast King and welcome back to the Chicago Fire Career. Yes, it's happening, finally, we're back. So, since it has been about a month since the last episode, July 1st actually was the last episode, so again, yeah, sorry about that. I, sh I should have at least finished season two before I took a break, but it happens, you know, it, it happened, we're moving on, let's just get into this thing. In case you forgot where we were at, and you probably did, I mean, I couldn't even really remember, we made the playoffs as the fourth seed in the Eastern Conference, which means we have a one game playoff against Columbus to start these playoffs. If we're able to beat Columbus, and I'm pretty confident that we will, I think we've beaten them a couple times this season, then we move on, and I have no idea who will play. Probably, no, actually, I have no idea. With FIFA being FIFA, we might end up playing a Western Conference opponent. Who the hell knows? So our lineup for this one is as follows, and I'm actually going to go through it really quick, just in case you actually forgot who our players were. We've got Ramon and Frankowski up top, with Gaetan in there behind them. Katai, Mihailovic, and Schweini in the midfield. We've got Jovan Jones, Austin Trusty, David Wood, and Nicholas Kreuzer across the back, and Nathan Rogers in between the sticks. So, let's get this playoff run started, and hopefully we win this game. I at least want to win this game, otherwise we'll all have waited a month. For nothing if we get one game and we're done that's gonna be really embarrassing all right boys playoff time it is single elimination against columbus let's do this thing oh that is not good pedro santos inside oh he ball rolls that's a good play miram okay wake up boys defense not on point early on but gaitan storms in and takes that and we've got frankowski up the wing Frankowski looking to deliver a ball. He's got him. It's Ramon. one nothing to Chicago. Instant counterattack offense for this Chicago team. Go on, Ramon. Celebrate, young lad. That's an interesting celebration. Well, those are our two guys up top. I like those two together. Ooh, just like we never left. 16 minutes. It is one nothing Chicago. I like it. Oh, my God. Zardes is just everywhere. Not good. What a finish by Justin Miram. I, th I thought that Kreuzer was going to get over and close that down. But the shot was just... I don't think he could have gotten his foot that high. It just went... I think he hit it roof of the net. And it's an equalizer. It's, just, it's all Jossi Zardes, though. That whole play became... Because Zardes just flat out took the ball up the field by himself. Ran through like three tackles. Got on the end of that. And created a problem on the other side. It's just like... Zardes is so hard to stop. All right, free kick opportunity in a very good spot for Schweini. Come on, Schweini, up and down from right here. A little bit of extra power on it. Oh, it just hit it wide. I thought he had that one. This is nice play. This is very nice plays through for Guy Ten, who literally just has zero speed left. How? He's, he's like 31 and he has no pace. None whatsoever. Oh, that's a great play. Mihailovic across. Tapping. It's Katai. Alexander Katai with the goal. 60 minutes in. There's the answer we were looking for. We've been pushing forward in the second half. We we're all over him. And we got our reward. Oh, please get out of play. That's not getting out of play. That's a cross. Rogerson. What did Nathan Rogerson just It was right there. It literally landed right behind him. And he just let Zardes head it home for the equalizer. Like, that is so poor from our young goalkeeper. I actually can't believe what I just saw. Oh, Gaitan intercepts that ball. We've got it far side. It's hard to make. God, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, that's brilliant passing right there. Gaitan in there. Finding it far side. It's blocked again there's no way there's just no way we deserve to win this game well we're going to extra time somehow some way columbus held on they literally had one shot in the second half and they scored i still can't believe what nathan rogerson did i mean he's young he's gonna make mistakes but if we don't win this game i might have to sell him i don't know if there's any coming back from that one that's great play right there. Kreuzer in there. Beautiful. Get How in the hell? You were dead in front of goal. Was that Hoodamakers? I think you... I, 
don't know if those Hodemakers are Mihailovic. How have we not scored a third goal in this game? In there. Guy 10. Plays it through. It's Mihailovic. No. It's Sarikaya. No. Still no. Headed down to Frankowski. He gets the pass away to Sarikaya. We're still on it. Looking for another chance. Croys are in there. Oh, it's headed away. We had someone there. And that is it. We're going to penalties against Columbus. Sure. I wish I could say I uh, didn't see this one coming, but it's like every single playoff series ends in penalties in FIFA. So here we go again. Up first is going to be Guy 10. Let's see if we can't get on the board. Oh my God. He hit that so hard. Whoa, into the roof of the net. Banging penalty, but damn, that made me nervous. And Pedro Santos up first for Columbus. Off the post and in. Those are two incredible penalties to start off with. Good lord. CJ Sapong, who I brought in just for his penalty-taking abilities here at the end. Tucks his away as well. Decent, decent. We've got Higuain for Columbus against Nathan. Nathan Rogers needs to redeem himself so badly here. And he goes the wrong way. Not getting it done yet. All right. It's Ramon up next. Okay, I'm going to go right. Stefan's going right twice. Yes, he went left that time. And we got him going the other way. Good job, Ramon. Please, Nathan. It's Ricardo Clark for Columbus. Ricardo. And Rogerson makes the save. He went right down the middle. It wasn't too hard. But he got the save nonetheless. Sarikaya up for Chicago. I'm going to go left. Yes, good penalty as well. Rogerson, one more save, buddy. One more save, and we go home. Well, you we don't go. We go through. It's Mullins. Mullins goes right. Rogerson makes the save again. He redeems himself. And Chicago goes through on penalties. You've got to be kidding me with that. So here are the results from the other one game playoffs in the West. Houston knocks out Minnesota 2-1. Colorado knocks out RSL 2-1. And another game went to Penns in the Eastern Conference. And it's Montreal knocking out NYCFC on the road. Impressive win for Montreal. And that actually sets up a best case scenario for us. We get Atlanta in the next round, which may sound scary, but we've kind of owned Atlanta so far in this series. That's the one team that I'm actually confident going up against that are left in the Eastern Conference. The other Eastern Conference matchup is Montreal and DC United. I can't even remember how we've done against Montreal so far, but I typically struggle against them. So I I'm good with Atlanta. We have Houston and Sporting KC in the West and FC Dallas taking on Colorado. So we stay at home for the first leg of this matchup, and I am going to make a change to the starting 11. Alexander Katai is going to move up in behind that spot, just behind the strikers, and Sarakai is going to join in the starting 11. And the reason is plain and simple. I'm dropping Guy Tan. I'm done with him. He was absolute trash against Columbus. The only reason he stayed on the field for the entire 120 minutes is because I needed him in there in case it went to pens. He's my best penalty taker. So... I left him in. He actually did help in the penalty take in the penalty shootout, but he's gone. At the end of the season, he's done. I'm done with him. I can't take him anymore. He's so bad. So that's the new starting 11 for the foreseeable future and probably the rest of our playoff run. Let's go play Atlanta. All right, boys. We are one step closer to a second consecutive appearance in the MLS Cup final. Can we make that happen this season? Oh my goodness, we are straight through. Sorry, Kaya. That would have been a dream start. Unfortunately, Sarkai is finishing is really, really bad. But we've absolutely smothered Atlanta so far. We just haven't gotten the chances of our own. Now we have a chance, but it's blocked by Paul Klein. Well, that was, at least that was better. At least we finally got a look at Net there. That is instead Schweine now, and Frankowski puts another one in. That's a good one. It's off the crossbar. They continue. Ah, now I suddenly remember why I took so long to play this next episode. This team just inexplicably struggles to score at times. Sorry, Kaya. It, that hits Katai in the face and goes out for a goal. You've got to be kidding. First shot for Atlanta. First goal for Atlanta. And we're down 1-0. 
Katai, come on, over the top. Get there, Ramon. Get there, Ramon. Get there, Ramon. Get there, Ramon. There's an equalizer. For the love of God. This team is just stressful. I actually just freaking don't like playing with this team. Oh my God. But Ramon equalizes right on the brink of halftime. It's 1-1 in Chicago. Thank God for that. Oh, we might have something here. We might actually have something here. We've got a ball up here for Kreuzer. Kreuzer, looking to deliver a cross. He's got Ramon again! Ramon is making his mark! Off fucking side! He's off fucking side! There's... Oh my god! Boy, Kreuzer's making the overlap again. Come on, Kreuzer. Deliver a ball! Ramon! He's onside this time! Trying to take that one away! Ramon will not be denied. That should be a hat trick for Ramon, but it's not. To be fair, it was his fault. He was offside last time, but still, it's 2-1. 85th minute. That is a massive, massive go-ahead goal for Ramon in this first leg. Man, we need to take a lead back to Atlanta. That was huge. Ref should blow the whistle here. Woo! And that, that is the end of the first leg. Well, at least, at least they're entertaining, I guess. They're going to give me a freaking heart attack. So here are the other results from the first leg of the conference semifinals. Obviously, we beat Atlanta 2-1. DC beat Montreal 2-1. Sporting in Houston drew 1-1. And Colorado beat Dallas 2-1. So every matchup is still very much up for grabs. So here we go with leg number two in Atlanta. And we have another change to our starting 11 Reynolds has to come in and play right back as Kreuzer is suspended for this one for yellow card accumulation. So I'm not happy about that one. Not Reynolds against Petey Martinez is not the matchup that I want, but it's what we have to work with. Let's just hope for the best. Oh man, we barely got that away. But we do with Katai. We're going to pop this over the top because Ramon is making a run and nobody catches Ramon. It's in the back of the net. Oh my god. The chip had my heart stop. Oh my god. But Ramon with his what, fourth goal of the playoffs? Absolute madness by our young Spaniard. But he does it again. That is a big, big away goal for Ramon and Chicago. Sarkaya out wide. Schweinsteiger deflected and in! Schweinsteiger with the freaking howitzer from the outside. It's 2-0 to Chicago. 4-1 on aggregate. That very well may do it. I'm not going to put anything past Atlanta. They were very good in that first leg. I think that went off of Darlington Nagby's ass. An ass goal for Schweinsteiger. Not fully hit Darlington Nagby in the cheeks. I'll take it. Another six. Atlanta loves to switch and then hit it. The passing from Atlanta in this game has been unreal. They're hitting ball. Look at the one-touch passing just pinging it all over the freaking park. I don't, I don't even know what I just witnessed there. We've had some of the worst defensive plays that I've ever seen. Five minutes left. Getting a bit nervy. They score another one. I'm, I'm going to actually just crap myself. Oh, look. Katai learned how to hit it the other way. If he'd have done that the other time, they would have freaking scored. And that is going to do it. 4-2 is the final aggregate score. We win this one, I think, 2-1. So we won both legs 2-1, I think. Pretty sure. All right. Well, that, that actually that gives me a little bit of confidence going forward. I, I figured we could beat Atlanta. And we went out and got the job done. And that, that second leg in Atlanta was very convincing. And here are the final results from the conference semifinals. We do eliminate Atlanta 4-2. DC comes back in the second leg and knocks out Montreal 4-3. Sporting advances, knocking out Houston 3-2. And then, who won? Dallas won on penalties. Wow. Dallas knocks out Colorado. They too came back from a first leg deficit. And that sets up the conference finals it is chicago and dc united 
Sporting Kansas City and FC Dallas. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't worried. DC United was the number one team in the league this year. They are the Supporter Shield winners from this season, and they are very, very good. So that is going to be a tough matchup. But that is where we're going to end this one for today. Next time out, we will take on DC United in the conference finals. And if we beat them, the next episode after that will be the MLS Cup final. Hopefully, we get that far. But that's it for this one. If you did enjoy it, make sure to let me know by leaving a like below. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you when we come back to take on DC United. See you.